Welcome to the Cinema 4D tutorial. In this tutorial I will demonstrate how to UV map an object and export that to Photoshop. For this example I will use a cube and I will increase the segment sizes for each side and then I'll make the entire cube editable so I can edit the points, edges and faces though I don't need the faces. First what we want to create is a set of points that will pretty much be the planted object when once we UV unwrap it. So you will understand this more later. I will select the top edges here. This is pretty much where the object is going to be planted on and all of the flat image will be drawn off of these uh, few points. So now you want to go into edge selection mode and create seams. Seams are pretty much where the UV mapper cuts the object up so it can turn it into a flat surface. So I will just select these edges here. And three of the four sides on the bottom, you will see why once it's been unwrapped. So I'm leaving this side open so the bottom is attached to the rest of the object. Now that we've edited, added our seams excuse me, and our points, we can go into a body paint UV edit mode. Once there, before you want to do any UV editing, we want to uh, set up the paint wizard. This is important for exporting the image to Photoshop later. So go through all of this. And here make sure you have color selected. Don't bother about the others, we just need one layer to be created. Once this is done, close, you have your object here and the texture here. We don't want this texture to look like it is right now and it's also in a very odd aspect ratio 682 by 1024 so first let's change that to a nice square size by going up to image texture size and uncheck lock aspect ratio and I'll just make this a perfect square 1024 press OK and we have a perfect square here but now this texture is messed up but we don't want to use that texture anyway so remember those points we created we can now uh, create a frontal projection where we plant those points onto the um, texture so go to projection and we will want to do frontal to do this first we want to change our camera perspective to top so you can see all these points and then our mode from point to UV polygon mode. Now just press on frontal and you can see a nice top uh, nine boxes selected. Now we want to add all these other box, all these other sides to the top. To do this you go to relax UVs, make sure you have pinpoint selection checked and cut selection selected edges, excuse me, checked. Once you've done those two press apply and you are done. You can continue editing the UV map here. You can select all, command or control A and use these tools, the move tool, the resizing tool from the mouse axis and same with the rotating tool. It goes around the mouse axis and will undo all of those since this is fine for this example. Now that we've done this, uh, you think you can export this to a texture, save texture as, and open it up in Photoshop, but what will happen is you will get a blank image. These lines aren't actually drawn onto the picture itself. To do this you have to go into layers, right click on background or go up to functions, new menu, and in this new layer we will paint over the, all of these lines. So we want to set up the paintbrush. This is why we went through the paint wizard setup at the beginning and under settings you want to change the size to something relatively small and you can leave the others to the defaults so I have size as one and then the color uh, we want is black it might be preset as white change it to black makes it much easier now that you've done this you can paint all over the object but we don't want that we want to paint over exactly these lines so to do this Go back into polygon UV, in the UV polygon mode, select all of these sides or faces and go up to layer and outline polygons. 
now we can uh, uncheck the background and you can see the lines that were once our UV map are now a texture. So I can render this and you can see the lines appear on the cube as a texture. We obviously don't want this but now we can export this as a texture of some sort, open it in Photoshop and edit it in Photoshop. And I recommend also creating multiple layers in Photoshop so that your final texture does not have these lines appearing in it, but you can constantly use these lines as reference. That's about it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks.